This is the I-Pace. Jaguar's first ever electric car and the front runner in a transport revolution. We've decided to go into this challenge sooner rather than later because we are Jaguar, because our history is about innovation, because we're not frightened of the new. Designed from the ground up, the I-Pace is engineered to be tough. It's the first big change in 100 years in the motor industry, and that's a real challenge for us. Designing a brand new car is no easy task. It would take nearly four years from first sketch to finished vehicle. But going electric and needing no engine comes with sizable benefits, giving the design team far greater freedom in shaping the car. So we yeah. move the people forward, so we'll put the cabin yeah. like so, yeah? So it's actually heading towards the front wheels. Very different, but I think this... Uh, I think it'll work. I think I it's going to work really, yeah. really nice proportion. So it's all about the drama of the front haunch and then the rear haunch sweeping back. This cab forwards design has given the I-Pace ample room for five large adults. None of this would have been possible with a conventional engine at the front. Back in the design studio, the result of months of creative effort is gradually beginning to show. And not just on a computer screen. This is technical modeling clay. Ian Asprey's job is to cut it to shape. It is great to see it coming out of just a lump of clay. This has got people's handprints on it and phone prints on it and hard work and sweat. The drill bit follows a pre-programmed route shaping the car with utmost precision. Well, from start to finish, with rough cuts and finished cuts, we could probably do a full car in about five days. I feel like it's an important moment because it's, it's the birth of something, really, isn't it? But nothing can replace human skills when it comes to shaping the clay. The human element to it is massively important um, because without that love and care that you, you know, put into a model, it wouldn't be the same. You're sculpting your car, you're using clay and you're using tools to make something come alive. It is a sculpture in a sense. Making a near silent electric car creates another challenge. Like all Jaguars, the I-Pace is designed to be fun. Ian Suffield's job is to ensure it sounds fun too. If I just start with the, the first car model that we've got, I will then go in and add some sound at about somewhere between sort of 50 to 100 kilometers an hour, such that it represents when you're accelerating up so you get the sense of power of the car. In the electric high pace, there's no engine noise to give dynamic feedback to the driver. So Ian is creating his own. It will play through the car's speakers. The next layer of sound I introduce to, to progress is from about 100 kilometers upwards. This is where the sound starts getting a little bit edgier, a little bit sharper. As if that's not enough, right at the very top end, above about 140, I've got a, another sound that comes in that's even edgier still. So this is us absolutely flooring it, and we've got a lovely race car howl there. You get the real sense of actually, you really want to pull this car forward. And it's in line with our heritage. It's, you know, we have a history of making great sounding, really fast cars. So uh, this one needs to be no exception. 
This is one of the first prototypes that we've actually built with a real bodywork, but we still have some prototype parts on the car itself. We've done lots of work on clay models, uh, calculations, but now this is a real car. Truth time. Tell us when to stop. It's our first electric vehicle, which means that something like aerodynamics is even more important. Oh, yeah. Good. We have to try and optimise it as much as we possibly can. Even millimetres of changes hugely impacts the range of the vehicle. We looking good? Yeah. That's looking good. In today's test, the team are analyzing one of the iPACE's most striking features, the air bypass. The bypass, it's oh, definitely working now. Yeah. Oh, lovely, that's good. Yeah. With no engine, the air flows in through the grill and out through the duct. So what we're able to see with the smoke is the air being diverted through that duct and actually creating a much better angle onto that front windscreen, which hugely impacts the aerodynamics and ultimately the range of the vehicle as well. Tests like this have resulted in a car that slices cleanly through the air, greatly increasing the distance it can travel on a single charge. This is the I-PACE. The first all-electric performance SUV from Jaguar. The future 